morning everyone it's rainy apple um today i thought that it'd be fun to do kind of like a day in my life um uh, and more specifically kind of just to show how i balance working on my art with a full-time job i do work in office three days a week um and then i work from home two days a week uh so i kind of wanted to show you the work from the office day uh, just because it's my more normal day I guess. Um, right now it's very early in the morning. Um, I usually wake up at 5. Um, uh, I know it sounds pretty early but I do go to sleep kind of early usually like 9 30 to 10 so it kind of balances out. Um, I'm very much a morning person so that's probably why I also get up very early. Um, and yeah, normally I will, at this time, I'll make myself a cup of coffee. Um, I will pack my lunch for the day and then I will just work on my art until uh, maybe an hour or half an hour before I have to go. And then I'll just start to get dressed before I leave. So I am gonna get started on that. everyone, it's voice over time. Um, so I mentioned that I go to office three days a week um, and then two days a week I work from home. So on the days that I do work in office, I do prepare my lunch ahead of time. Um, I've been so <laughs> to make things faster uh, and I don't know if everyone would be willing to do this or would get too bored of doing this all the time, but it's just something that I've done for years and years, and I don't know, I guess I just have the personality type for it. Um, I make the same thing, the same lunch, pretty much every single day, um, and I'll do this for maybe like six months at a time, sometimes even longer. Kind of depends on, um, I guess, how long it takes for me to get sick of eating the same thing. Um, but I find that it really, really helps to speed up my process or like getting ready in the morning just because I know exactly what I need to pull out of the fridge, exactly what goes together, how to put it together, um, and it just like uh, makes everything just super, super quick and efficient. Same thing for when I go to the grocery store. Um, I always know exactly what to get. I'm not having to spend any time deciding like oh what am i gonna have for lunch like on monday and tuesday and wednesday and thursday it's just the same thing <laughs> so um yeah i guess that's a time saving tip that i have if you're willing to do it um simplify your lunch or i guess reduce your decision making by having the same lunch every day <laughs> So yeah, that's what I'm doing here. And then um, for the two days that I do work um, from home, I normally actually don't put my lunch together in the morning. I'll put it together uh, at lunchtime just because I have all my stuff at home. So yeah, everything's accessible. Okay. So once I uh, pack my lunch and I've made my cup of coffee, I will bring that up to my office and then I will get started on working on my comic. Um, I will usually, so I'm upstairs probably by 5.30 or so, it takes me about 30 minutes, maybe a little less sometimes, um, to put together my lunch and make my coffee um, and get up from bed. Um, and yeah, so I'll be upstairs by around 5.30 and then I will work through to usually around 7 o'clock, um, or a little past 7 o'clock. 
and that's when I'll start to to get ready for work. Um, so then that means I have about an hour and a half in the morning to work my comic. I find um, this is actually the most productive part of my day just because uh, there this is where there are the fewest interruptions people aren't really messaging me and I'm not really getting many mo notifications on my phone so um, I really I really do value this time and of all the the parts of the day that I work on my comic um, I think this is probably the part of the day where I most consistently um, show up to, to actually work on my comic um, I've built a really good habit around waking up this early and working on my comics, so um, yeah, if, uh, I mean, I don't think everyone's willing to get up at 5, I probably uh, wouldn't blame you, it's really really early, but um, if you're looking to, to start up a new habit or are struggling to find some time to, to work on your art projects, um, I would highly recommend maybe um, adjusting your sleep schedule a bit, uh, going to sleep a little bit earlier and waking up a little bit earlier so that you can have this uninterrupted time to yourself in the morning because um, yeah it's been super helpful. I think it's a big part of the reason why I've been able to get so much done despite a uh, working full-time job. And yeah, Oh, and uh, I have on, so I also like to either listen to music, but um, more often I like to watch other artists' vlogs, vlog, wow, <laughs> vlogs. Um, my favorite being my little sister, Lee Chutz. Uh, whenever she comes out with a, a vlog, I will, I will watch it. So yeah, this is the perfect time to have that playing in the background. Okay, so it is a little bit past 7 o'clock now. Um, I am going to start getting ready for work. I'm still in my pajamas. Um, maybe I'll show you a bit of what I worked on this morning. Um, so this, oh it's reflecting the light a bit, but um, this is, oh this page has been taking me forever to, to do, but um, I think it's nice to do like super detailed pages every now and then just to kind of, you know, um, change things up and kind of vary the detail, but um, this is kind of like our introduction to Hina's boyfriend, Kay, oh, can't really, oh, right there, Kay, um, so yeah, I kind of wanted to like go a little all out with the scene and I did some like interesting um, camera angles and stuff, so uh, it has been taking me a little longer than expected, but um, I think moving forward on the next few pages I'll probably simplify it a bit more since we've already established um, where they are in the house and everything, so yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. Okay, so it's about 7.15ish right now, 7.20? 7.30? Can't quite remember. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, usually I'm, I'm washing my face and brushing my teeth and all that by around 7.20ish. And um, I do, so I don't take showers in the morning. Um, I find that uh, especially because my hair is so long um, and for some reason it just like soaks up water like a sponge it takes me forever to dry my hair so I will uh, to save time in the morning I will take showers in the evening um, right before I go to bed um, yeah I know everybody has their own preference but I find it, it really really helps um, to save me or I guess Put more time back into working on my art in the morning and kind of speed up getting ready. Um, so I guess that's one tip I have. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna get ready and then we will head out uh, hopefully by eight o'clock. Okay, so we are getting close to eight o'clock. 
Um, and that's around when I normally leave to head out to work. It takes me an, about an hour to get to work. Um, so I'm gonna head out now. I've got on my, maybe I'll show you my outfit of the day. So that's, this is the fit. I hope you like. <laughs> um, I have my trench coat on today cause it's a little bit rainy outside. Um, don't mind the Michael Jordan poster there. That's my boyfriend's. Um, and oh, I actually, um, I made this for him for his birthday one year kind of completely forgot that I made it for him, so yeah, just the Air Jordan ones. Okay, I'm gonna start heading out, so let's go. Probably help if I turn the car on. Um, I usually get here around 9 o'clock in the morning, um, and then I will work through to about 12, 30, or 1 o'clock, kind of depending on the day, um, and that's when I'll take my lunch. Uh, my lunch is about 45 minutes, and so what I do, um, just to save time, <laughs> uh, save more time to work on my comic, is I will just take my lunch at my desk. Um, just so that I don't need to move around or like walk to and from wherever I decided to work. I'll just stay at my desk um, and I will work on my comic. Um, yeah, not too sure what else to say. I, I, uh, I'm sure you noticed I decorated my desk space um, a lot with different like photos of um, my, like my family and my boyfriend and um, yeah, just other little trinkets and stuff. I find, um, kind of like my space at my home office at work. I wanted my work space at work work to be, um, you know, comfy cozy and just kind of make me feel at home. So yeah, I, uh, I added a little decorations here and there. Um, hopefully, I hope you like them. Um, so yeah, I will, so... Um, after my lunch break, I will work through to five o'clock. Um, pretty good about leaving work on time, um, and then it will be time to go home. So I will talk to you all then.
Okay, so I'm home. It is just past six o'clock. Um, so normally, by the time I get back, um, our dog, Ellie, uh, has already been taken out by my boyfriend. Um, just because my boyfriend, he works from home, uh, like, full-time, so uh, he's able to, to take care of her while I'm not there. But today, um, she hasn't been out yet, so I thought it'd be fun to, to take her on a walk and bring you guys along with me. So I will take her out, and then when we get back, I will make myself something to eat because I am hungry. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm back home from our walk, um, and so I can't remember what time it was. I think uh, probably around 6.30 or so. Um, I just start to put together my dinner. Um, very similar to my, my lunch and my breakfast, I tend to eat the same thing every day more or less. Um, uh, it just, I just find it makes things so much easier for me, um, and quicker and more efficient. Um, I will, I, I will vary my dinner a little bit more than my lunch for sure, but for the most part it's just kind of the same sort of stuff. Um, today I'm just doing some leftovers, um, and then I'm, uh, adding some miso soup and just some frozen vegetables on the side. Um, and yeah. Uh, what I'll do then is I'll sit down with my boyfriend normally, uh, we'll sit down together, I eat my dinner in front of the TV, um, uh, yeah, I, I'm a grown, I'm aware of that, uh, but yeah, I watch him, <laughs> I eat my dinner in front of the TV, I'll sit with my boyfriend, um, and we will, uh, watch, I don't know, no, lately it's been a lot of trash TV on Netflix, um, we just started Love is Blind UK, um, and we just finished Too Hot to Handle. Um, sometimes you just need some brainless, brainless TV show to watch to kind of like, you know, unwind for the day. So that's what I've been doing lately. And then, um, yeah, once I finish eating, then it kind of depends on the day. Some days I will, um head straight to working on my comic right after. It really depends on my energy level um, and how busy I was at work that day. Some days I just won't even work on my comic at all, um, but I have been trying to trying to push myself to to work on my comic after work more consistently if, if I have the energy to, but um, I'd say normally around 7.30 to 8 o'clock, that's when I'll start working on my comic. So. Yep, yeah, I'm just gonna finish eating this and then uh, I will get started working on my comic. How are you doing? I'm good. What's that? What's your name? My name's I'll Charlie. show everyone. My name's Ollie. Hello. I like your voice, I'll give you that. <laughs> yeah, I quite like your voice as well. Thank you. You're doing what? like a kind of soft like. <laughs> just past 7 30 um so at this time so if i'll typically yeah i have my dinner i'll just kind of chill and watch something usually lately trash reality tv um me and my boyfriend were watching love is blind uk because that just came out the other day um and then it kind of depends on the day and how i'm feeling but i'll typically aim to start um, drawing around 7 30 or 8 o'clock um, I try and like not push myself too too hard just because um, by this time because I think in the morning I draw from like 5 30 to 7 so that's an hour and a half and then I have like say 45 so let's say an hour at lunch so two hours two hours and a half 
um, so I usually aim to just do an hour, sometimes two hours um, in the evening, um, if I'm having a good day. Uh, so then I guess on a normal day I'd, I'd have about three hours and a half. I'll take about three hours and a half to work on my art, which is actually pretty good, I think. Um, I will say not not every day I'll work um, on my comic after work, um, just because, yeah, it, it really does depend on the day. Like, some days I'm just kind of, like, wiped out and I really don't want to do anything. But um, today I'm feeling pretty good. Um, so maybe I'll show you... I did uh, some, because in the morning I finished line arts, then at lunchtime I worked on my coloring a bit. Um, this page, it did, I was fin finicking around, ooh, it's going to be hard to see the colors actually, because the lighting is bad, but um, I hope you can kind of see, I'm sorry if you can't, um, but yeah, I colored like one and a half panels. I was playing around with the colors. Um, just because like it's a new setting so I'm kind of trying to decide like what everything is colored like the doors and the cabinets and stuff like that um, and then also making sure like all the values are looking right um, so it was taking me a little bit longer than usual to color um, but that's okay um, so yeah that is what I'm gonna work on until I usually try and stop around 9.30 Sometimes if I get really really into it, I'll go till 10, but um, I do I do want to make sure I'm in bed by 10 just because I do wake up so early. Um, so yeah, I'll usually try and aim to stop at 9.30. So um, I will I will work on this for a bit and then yeah, we'll see. We'll see where I stop. Okay, so we are getting pretty close to 9.30 now. Um, I am feeling weirdly exhausted today. I think um, I've definitely, I think after that, uh, that I, <laughs> I, I had a very big push in terms of like pushing myself to, to work on my comic for that nine hour long draw with me video that I made. And I think I haven't quite recovered from that yet, so that's probably why I'm feeling a little tired. I am definitely going to take it easy this weekend though. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm gonna stop here. I, uh, I'm pretty happy with my progress today. I got, um, I'd say about halfway through coloring. I finished up the, just the last bit of the line art this morning. Um, yeah, so that's basically what my day looks like. I try to make it as like realistic as possible. I'm just kind of like taking you through all the like no normal things that I do. I mean there are some days that are like there are variations like maybe one weeknight I might go out for dinner with um, with my boyfriend so then on days like that I probably won't spend as much time working on my comic at the end of the day. But for the most part, um, my day looks pretty much the same every day. Um, I'm, I'm very much a creature of habit and it's actually, I tried really hard to build up these habits um, because I, I do find myself struggling to start with projects um, because I am an overthinker and I tend to kind of overthink myself into like being afraid to even start. So um, I'm very happy with uh, the habits that I've built. I really hope I can keep them up. Um, but yeah, 
I I don't really know if there's anything else I'd like to add. Um, yeah, hopefully you all learned something a little new today. Um, for those of you that do work on art projects on the side, um, uh, and I don't know, maybe you struggle finding time to, to work on them. Um, I hope maybe like, you got some ideas from watching my video. Uh, and maybe for those of you who feel like you want to work on an art project or some project but don't feel like you have enough time, um, yeah, hopefully this, this might help, help give you some ideas as well. Um, yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Um, if you like the video, please leave a like. Uh, if you'd like to see more, um, please feel free to subscribe. And yeah, if you have any ideas as to what kind of videos you'd like to see me make in the future, um, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I'm reading everyone's comments, um, every single one. So please feel free to leave them down below. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go pass out. <laughs> Good night. See you next time.